kind of thoroughly pummeled or just um, spent. But I wanted to talk about the upcoming trend where it's mainly language, I guess, but really it's concept. And so perception is being affected when people say non-binary. I heard somebody say, well, I'm neither a man or a woman. Like, I'm non-binary. <laughs> you know, I change my mind about things because I, I kind of wake up a little bit more about just the facts of things, you know. And I've been downloaded with some things. It's like, well, yeah, that's that's a good idea to think of that. Otherwise, people won't think of it, and then other people will um, insert the concept and therefore alter our perception about what we are as a as what we are. So there isn't any such thing as non-binary. If binary means two parts that appear to oppose each other, but they don't really oppose each other. They wouldn't even exist without the other. This is not even a, um, okay, it's not a big subject matter. It's very old. So, you know, we, there's duality, but, you know, a lot of people don't um, consider that it's a one. It's oneness, the positive and negative um, is one. So if somebody stands up and says, I am non-binary, it's like, it doesn't make a high to hair of sense at all. Um, ask them to sit and explain what they mean, you know, and who cares? Just who cares what their idea is, right? Just like who cares what my idea is? Who care who likes and dislikes this? Um, I'm going to talk about it a little more. I mean, whatever the, the people are are saying to me is just a flash. It's like, well, they just need to grow up. It's, very, it's just mentally immature because they're not thinking on their own. So if somebody has to stand up over there and say, well, you know, this is it. This is what's happening now. I say this and I think that you should consider it. And it's like, why? Why in the first place? I mean, that's a big, um, big question that should be asked. Look at nobody even um, asks the question. Why do we have to look at it? You know, if you don't, you have an experience of your own. You have an experience of your own that you are like. You should obligate yourself to get involved. Oops, my lamp is a little bit off. Pardon me as I'm just kind of burnt out. But yeah, obligate yourself to get involved. You are, you, you should, after a while, you yourself, and somebody should make you feel, if not the person or the people around you who've already been there, who are already being, say, responsible. So you have a profound responsibility towards your own understanding deeper understandings, you know, question things, you know, people are just feeding um, uh, everything into you, and you will not fall off the face of the earth if you um, just say, well, I'm not going to take that on now, I, I think there's a different way, form, or whatever, that, you know, I just, in other words, I don't have to um, go for the first compulsory suggestion. I'm not saying to be unresponsive. Really be as alert as you can, being as, as alive as you can. That is all, say that that's it. There isn't anything that you can afford over that. 
of course, that's there. If, in case something else is coming along, we're going to stay just like purely aware here. Your awareness should be um, top priority. And that includes that questioning and needing to understand something deeper, you know, like, uh, so it, it's never too late for that kind of aliveness, really, it, to start becoming more alive. Because, of, first of all, yeah, there isn't much time for us here. There's a process taking place. And, but it gets interesting. It, it can get very, uh, you can make some breakthroughs. You can have a different um, view than a lot of people, yes. And I know that scares a lot of people. A different thing, oh, you know. Well, you won't wind up as the same. What psychologists would say is, oh, that's normal. That's a normal disease. That's what we're talking about. Like, well, 80% of the people are narcissists. There we go. I plugged it. Now I get to just put that in the title and then there, and then it'll, it'll get a subscription and like. No, just the like sometimes, maybe. <coughs> but, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, I've been feeling really good um, lately. It's um, just nobody's business but mine, but I would like to share it. I didn't just say I'm not feeling any pain. Or anything. It's, it's actually, um, I feel good because of the, of the way I manage all of the, um, really it's the mind, you guys. You know, I, I have experienced instant healing countless times now, but it's happened in the last, well, month or a couple weeks, even a week. <laughs> um, through prayer, if it's, if it's, um, if I, you know, um, if it, if it is, um, <laughs> angels that are around me that are concerned and I let them in and help to help, <coughs> or if it's just me, really what happens truly is that I'm having a conversation with my body and, and all of the feelings, you know, I'm really tethered to a higher intelligence too, that is well aware and and when, you know, just that acknowledgement, when that kind of connection is made, acknowledgement or whatever, it, there is just instant um, healing. Um, well, it's, it's instant. It, it just turns it into no more suffering, no more suffering. You know, there's a, such a thing. Is, that's what Buddhists talk about. I'm about to wrap this up. Thanks for listening. Uh, the whole purpose of the video was to talk about that they're trying to erase a fundamental property or I would call it a property but it's a phenomena or a fact of life that is duality that is you don't talk about this see they say oh duality is a problem the two are different and, uh, and it's like uh, no um the two are there, they are different, but if you really knew, if you had any kind of level of maturity or not, um, um, you would see that they're, that they're both one. They are both intrinsically part of each other. They complement each other. If you're talking about men and women, I mean, that's what... That's what kind of sparks me off, and here I am, you know, you know, I've already, I've always been asked, are you a man or a woman? And I always used to respond, well, I'm a god, you know, and you don't, it's just the wrong language. If you say non-binary, there, there isn't any non-binary. Say, what are you trying to be then? You can't vanish out of thin air. You say, yes, binary. That means both are there. Well, what are you going to do about it? about it? See, that's what I claim. I say, I don't claim that. I say, I'm sticking to the original science that say, I, I've always heard my grandma or somebody, even my mom would say it, or even science. Somewhere they get it from science that says, they simply, they try to make you understand, well, men and women, each human being has, um, well, see, women are 51% woman, and 49% man. 
and it's the same with men. They are 51% man, and but 49% woman. Um, and I was shown something very beautiful about that very possible fact that the two are in one, and that's just the fact of duality. You know, if you look at the, the symbol yin-yang, that's what uh, that symbol represents as duality, but then there's a hint of a little in the one, and there's a hint of a little, a little in the other. But if you really look, if you really look at what that really is, I'll try and post a little um, picture of it on you from YouTube here. It's it's the Taurus, if you know what that is. It's some um, flows ebbing and flowing. It's the on off um, signal or something, or whatever it is. It could be it could be um you know um antimatter and matter. There's got to be that that flow, or we we just wouldn't have existence itself, and. Um, but who stand there and says, well, none, none of that, you know, none. There isn't a black or a white. There isn't man or woman. There isn't, you know, what I'm saying is like there isn't um, duality. There is, you know, there's one. They, they have this non-duality room. Now that I, why does that make sense to us? It's like, no, just say yes, duality. That means that you're saying yes to it. But then, you know, like I said, the, the, the symbol of the yin-yang, there is the, the center and there's a black and the one, but there's the circle around the whole thing. It's all there. Don't exclude one over the other, the other over the one. They are both there and they are always doing this. And it's like, wait a minute, is that one on top or is that one on bottom? Is that blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Pretty soon. You just laugh like that at the kids. It's like, oh, and it's the same with your, your joys and sorrows. It's the same. It's like, uh oh, do you, did you know that your that your your jaros ca caused your soys? Your your soys is what's caused your jaros. If you look at it deep enough, what has caused you sorrow is what brought you joy, or what what you you know were you know what would. Right? I mean, come on, what has brought you, what you originally maybe thought was a sorrowful thing, and have you turned it into a joy at all? I mean, can you see any of it? I don't know. Never mind. Boy, did that crash down face first, like a ton of bricks falling. Thanks for listening to all this. Um, let me just turn this off. Okay, have a good night.